informer meetups are expensive, but are they really? We've heard it before. How can the Orlando Informer meetups be so expensive? When you look at the price online, you might think, man, I might have to sell a kidney for this. Or you'll refresh the page to see if that price is even correct. I am never going to financially recover from this. But when you break it down, is it as bad as it seems? Tonight, we're going to compare the cost of a two-night Orlando Informer meetup ticket to a single day at the parks. Let's see how this maths out. I think I might need a calculator. The first thing to consider in our OI math equation is admission to the parks. A one day park to park ticket today costs $204 excluding tax. A two night Orlando and former meetup ticket cost $448. Now I know what you're thinking. Guys, you must have really failed math class. Don't worry. There'll be more things to consider as the night moves along. Ben and I are all checked in for the OI meetups this evening, and we're about to head over to Tucson, meet up with my parents who have never gone to Universal before to grab a bite to eat before we enter the parks for the evening. Now, they've never been to an OI event before, so you guys are gonna get to see some first timers reactions to things. We're pretty excited about it. I don't know what you're gonna see, but it's gonna be fun. our dinner at Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. It was fantastic. We're on our way over to Universal Studios to get scanned in to start the OI event. And we'll get on to our next, next piece of our math equation when we get in there. One of the most important pieces to this map formula, it is now considered a formula. We have multiple factors in here is coming up but first we need the parks to empty out and the oi meetup to truly start so uh we're gonna enjoy the parade we're gonna walk around we're gonna maybe poke into diagon we're gonna enjoy the parks for a little bit longer until the general admission heads on out of here start this Orlando and former night off without a run on MIB, especially with all the parents involved. They're going to have to learn real quick that I don't like to lose. And Pete, please report to weapons checkout. You're going down. That's not true. We'll see. My I just don't like to lose. I don't want to talk about it. You're going to get your camera wet. You should put that away. <laughs> We're going to go do ET. 15 minute wait. These two have never ridden it. Don't look at Magdal in, in the eye. In the stick. We're in line for ET Adventure. It is 15 minutes before the park's closed. So everybody is in line right now. It just jumped from a 15 minute wait to a 45 minute wait. It won't take that long. Uh, but once we get off this ride, OI is officially gonna start. So that means the parks are gonna start being cleared out. Things are gonna be a bit more empty and we can add to the next part of this math equation. Oh, oh, oh. Is very 
Now that it's 7 p.m., the Orlando Informer meetup can officially begin, which brings us to our second portion of our Orlando Informer math equation. Due to the limited number of tickets sold for an Orlando Informer meetup, it's like having unlimited express pass while you're at the parks. Unlimited express pass today during general park admission will cost $165. Again, I know what you're saying. Guys, that public school system really failed you guys because you guys can't math. It still doesn't add up to $448. There's more things to consider though, but for now we're gonna enjoy some low crowds and some low wait times and enjoy some rides. Let's, let's go get, walk on. Let's go walk on some rides. We're gonna make our way over to the New York section of studios so that we can see the tree and other Christmas decor and hopefully get Aubrey's parents on the mummy so that they can experience that great dark ride. the mummy and it's eight o'clock so that means Orlando Informer is now serving free food for most of the night. On a typical day in the park you have to pay for your snacks, your lunch, your sweet treats, all of it. Tonight it's all free. We have to factor that into this equation. We'll do our best to math it out. You have some work to do because you have to make it all of this food add up so that it maps out to make OI worth it. You've got a lot of eating in front of you. We're over in Hogsmeade and we finally have our first free food, drinks of the night. A ghillie water and a cold butter beer. Now, we'll pull up how much these cost and put it on the screen. We're gonna start adding up how much we're saving by not paying for this while we're here. I can tell you, I've never ever bought a ghillie water in Hogsmeade because I don't want to pay that much for a bottle of water. But tonight, I can have as many as I want. They're free. As well as as many butter beers as I want. The rain has started to come down during the Orlando Informer meetup. This is really gonna put a damper on some stuff. Both literally and figuratively. We learned our lesson last night that rain kind of forces everybody inside and forces people around the food, so this could get interesting. So we just got into Burger Digs. We came over from watching the Hogwarts Light Show. We got a Casado burger, fries, and a brookie. So we're gonna have to add that to our tally of food for the night to see how the OI compares to a normal daytime park operation. Do you think we're gonna make it yet? It's gonna be close. You have a lot so more food to eat. One other piece that we forgot to mention while here at Burger Digs is the free drinks. We're not paying for freestyle cups and we're not paying for the Diet Cokes and the Powerades and everything. So here's free drink number one, a Powerade. <laughs> no, that doesn't count. Oh, that was not... Break. If it came back... <laughs> okay. Count it! <laughs> oh, I get one more shot! <laughs> Where are we going? Well, I was hoping we could stop at the raptor encounter, but it looks like it's closed. So, time to take mom and dad to Thunder Falls. And 
Niagara Falls, Diet Coke, roasted pork pernil with black beans, and I think it's a cilantro lime rice. I, I don't remember what it tastes, I'm gonna find out. Um, as is tradition, we have the key lime pie cheesecake. Delicious. And then finally, on our way over, we saw that Natural Selections was open, so Ben grabbed a beef empanada. So, again, we'll factor in the price of all of this. That's not cheap. It's starting to add up a little bit. I am curious how the OI math is mathing. It's possibly gonna be a little bit tighter than I thought. Second beef empanada tonight, well, today. It's just as good, good as the first time. They're good. We've been eating a lot of food for the past little while. I think it's time for a ride. Ride, ride, food. Ride, ride, food. Food, food, ride. Time for Kong. Kong, 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 Kong. Kong is just a underrated ride in our opinion. It was great, great ride. We are going to make our way through Toon Lagoon. I don't think we're gonna stop anywhere at Toon Lagoon. Wimpy's is open and we could get a Dagwood sandwich, but we need just a little more time to let that food from Thunder Falls settle before we do another food run. Maybe we'll go get some tots in Seuss Landing or maybe we'll stop by somewhere in Marvel along the way. Lots of decisions to be had. The night is young. Everybody else bailed except for April. We're riding Doom. All hail. We just crushed the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Great views of the park. We're headed to the Green Monster next. April and I are gonna go spin upside down, get a little rattle. Have fun. I'm a bit woozy. Was it good? That was a good one. That was a good ride. Did mom scream the whole time? She closed her eyes in the, for the first launch, but I think now we're gonna go through Port of Entry and we're gonna go over to Seuss Landing. Gotta get some tots. And then maybe we'll pop back over to studio, see if Gringotts is open. I think you guys need to do Velocicoaster now. Velocicoaster now? If you're, if you're strong enough to do the Hulk right now. Oh, we could do Velocicoaster. We'll have to talk about this one. We're gonna have to talk about this one. Benjamin, do you need some tots? Buffalo tots. We have our very cheesy green eggs and ham. You can't even see the green eggs through the cheese. We have a buffalo chicken, and tucked neatly underneath that, we have pizza tots. Mom, if you'd like to grab the forks out of my pocket, <laughs> you guys can give these a try. Buying this in the park during regular daytime admission would add up. Now I know, I know that the price, like during the day you get a bigger size, but these are all you can eat. So like, we can go back and get more. What we'll get in the comments is, they're smaller portions. You can't possibly say that was three servings of tots. Yes, you're right. It's not three full servings of tots. We will figure out a way to make it work out. Truly outstanding. And I see the trees, the truffula trees, the bright colored tops of the truffula trees, mile after mile in the fresh blowing breeze. One fish. Work it. Work it. There you go. Work it. Work it. There we go. Nice. Hey. Hey. Oh. We're gonna go ride Green Gots, but.
But to get there, we need to go check Hermione's new voice. Honestly, Ron. Honestly, Ron. Going to Green Gods, straight to Green Gods. Then you gotta get your stuff in a, in a locker. Quick. Yeah. Get a boogie woogie over here, cause Green Gods has to close prior to midnight, so. We're gonna be quick, fast, in a hurry over here. Make sure that we get the right Green Gods time. The night is not complete without Florian's. Sticky toffee pudding is delicious. I would have preferred soft serve butter beer, but I will put up with sticky toffee pudding. It's still delicious. What'd you get? Well, you have to get pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice. And a hot butter beer. Hot butter beer. These cost so much for a typical day. But they were pretty cool. All right. It's almost midnight. We are slowly making our way to the front of studios because one, we're full of food, but two, we're getting tired. And OI is not even over yet, but we're making our way out. We've had a really great evening, but the real question is what adds up more? Going to OI or a simple day in the park? Time to do some math. All right, guys, so we are back at our house. We have been home from the Orlando Informer event for just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We have some calculations to do to really truly add up if the Orlando Informer event's worth it. You saw us eating all that food. We put pricing on the screen as we go, but we haven't actually done the math. Here's our time to calculate it out. I have the calculator that lives in my pocket. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. All right, 550. So what does that come out to? That comes out to, let me check my math here, 99.92 in total for all of the food that we had dur during our evening at OI. That was free during OI, but we're gonna take that 99.92 and apply it to a single day at the parks. If you add up all the expenses for one day at the park, you had $204 for park admission, you had $165 for Express Pass. And now you have $99.92 for food on top of all of it. That comes out to $468.92. <laughs> That's a lot for one day. <laughs> now here's something even more crazy that we forgot about. But wait, there's <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> For every day that you spend at the Orlando Informer Meetup, uh -huh. you get a $15 gift card. So because we're comparing two nights of Orlando Informer Meetups, that would be $30 Ooh. that you would get to spend in gift cards. So that would be $448 for OI Meetup tickets minus the $30 in gift cards. So you're comparing 468 to about $418 for the Orlando Informer Meetup. So you're telling me one day at the park. Again, this is why Ben does the budgeting here. One day at the park, you're roughly gonna spend $468. But for two nights of OI, based on all that, you're gonna spend 418. So you're gonna save like $50 by going to OI. Crazy. Wow. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. As you can see, after doing some math, the Orlando Informer meetups are one steal of a deal. If you have any other questions about the Orlando Informer meetups, feel free to throw them in the comments. If you need help planning your next Universal Orlando vacation, check out that Patreon link in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.